Main man made man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So fresh off watching the Jeff Horn and Gary Corcoran fight, hats off to Jeff Horn and his entire corner for getting the victory over fellow domestic fighter Gary Corcoran. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, let's just say us Americans are still kind of learning about Jeff Horn. You know what I'm saying? And we're kind of learning on the job about Jeff Horn. But each and every fight now that he's on the world-class level, each and every fight that he does, you learn a bit more. And every time I see the dude fight now for at least the last couple fights, since the pack, you know, this fight in the Pacquiao fight, I must admit, I like Jeff Horn, man. I like Jeff Horn a lot, man. You know, Jeff Horn what I learned about him in this particular fight was that he was a straight up warrior. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the kind of fighter, I believe, that can get cut, that can get bruised, that can break something, and he will keep on going. You still will have a very competitive fighter on your hands because as of today, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Horn has that warrior spirit, and that is exactly what I learned in this particular fight now there were points in this fight where i thought hey maybe jeff horn may not pull it out i mean he's getting sucked into a brawl here because gary corcoran whenever he was trying to get next to jeff horn he was leading off with big shots which would then in return make jeff horn return fire with big shots and eventually when you continuously fight like that you get a brawl, you know, and Jeff Horn was being lured into a brawl in roughly those first four to five rounds where Jeff Horn, though he was trying to create space and try to jump back in. He was jumping in with big shots. I noticed an adjustment by Jeff Horn roughly about round six or seven. And that was Jeff Horn started to utilize his jab to get to the inside, which he was having much more success. See, earlier on in the fight. Jeff Horn was not setting up any shots, man. And I was like, you know, you got to set up something. You can't just keep trying to jump in there with those big shots. Clearly, man, you're going up against a guy who prefers to fight that way. Jeff Horn, to me, fought Manny Pacquiao better when he took a step back with Jab Pacquiao to set up the big shots, you know. And that's exactly what it took him to do to defeat Gary Corcoran. Because Gary Corcoran, even, he was hitting Jeff Horn with some big shots. Jeff was returning fire and would land here and there, but not nearly as frequently, in my opinion, as Corcoran was. But once that adjustment was made by Jeff Horn to start to use his jab to then start to set up his right hand, to start to set up those uppercuts on the inside or and, and, and those big, uh, big hooks on the inside, he wasn't doing that originally. It worked for him, man. It started to change the trajectory of the fight. And then you had Gary Corcoran, who was pushing Jeff Horn back, Earlier in the fight, the eventually Jeff Horn started to push him back. Both men became bloody. Both men were bruised up. The I mean, cuts on the, on their heads, cuts on their eyes. Man, it, it, it just was a very very action packed, fast paced fight. Man, very entertaining. I did not look at it when it originally aired, given that it came on so late. This fight went down in Australia, so the time differences, man, I couldn't catch it at the original airing of it, man. But yo, I caught the replay of it, man. And uh, like I said, man, just a fast-paced fight, man. Um, Gary Corcoran, though, man, led, led off with a lot of big right hands coming to the inside to Jeff Horn. When I say that Gary Corcoran was leading off with big shots, that big right hand was consistent early on, ladies and gentlemen. And I was like, yo, Jeff Horn just can't keep taking lead right hands like that, man. Gary Corcoran was using the lead right hand to get to the inside and then start throwing a bunch of punches once he got there. As Eventually, as the fight progressed on, that stopped. You know what I'm saying? And then it just like, it got to a point where Gary Corcoran stopped leading off and Jer Jeff Horn started to become first because he started to use the faster, quicker shot which was the jab to set up the big the big shots, man. And that was the adjustment that was needed. Eventually, Gary Corcoran's eye started to swell. His right eye started to swell. The corner seemed that he had enough, and they stopped the fight. For anybody who believes that this stoppage maybe was BS or this stoppage was premature, because Gary Corcoran, to me, was still swinging back at the point of the stoppage, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you can't call it controversial because his corner stopped it. It wasn't a ref that jumped in. It wasn't a doctor or anything that stopped it. It was the corner of Gary Corcoran that stopped this fight. 
Now, you know, so it is what it is. But he put up a valiant, I repeat, valiant effort. He clearly came into this fight extremely hungry, and he studied Jeff Horn, man. He was fully aware how Jeff Horn uh, lets to initiate or lead on, lead in with his head. So clearly we didn't see any uh, hair butts or many major hair butts in this particular fight, at least none that I've, I've seen. So, you know, um, just a good fight. Very entertaining fight, man. Hopefully we see a Gary Corcoran again, man, because the way he fights, man, if he can get over that hump, man, he, he'll be a, a, good, a pretty decent fighter at welterweight. You know what I'm saying? So another thing that I noticed is about Jeff Horn is that, yo, he is a big welterweight, ladies and gentlemen. He comes into the, he has to cut weight pretty basically the last day or two uh in order to really make weight that's how he normally does it that's what he did for the manny pacquiao fight and that's what he did for this particular fight now he's still young but a lot of people didn't realize didn't understand maybe yo him cutting weight so late like that can drain him in the fight but it didn't you know what i mean the formula worked in this fight and the formula worked in the manny pacquiao fight now that jeff horn has retained his wbo welterweight title the talk is that he will go on to face terrence bud crawford now by all uh, accounts take your mind before i even go there i have terrence crawford as the number one fighter in the world ladies and gentlemen in the world so when jeff horn steps in there with Terrence Crawford, he is possibly stepping in there by most accounts with the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. So I say this. I'm a firm believer in Terrence Crawford. He is the truth. My number one pound for pound fighter. But just like I said in the Manny Pacquiao fight, and I'll say it again. MBT Boxing, shout out to you. I still will not forget that call you made, my friend. Uh, I will say this, man. In this particular thing, turns but Crawford, man, look. Do not underestimate this guy. Once again, Terrence Crawford is coming up from 140 to 147, in which he has yet to fight at welterweight. Uh, this guy, Jeff Horn, is a big welterweight. He could possibly withstand the punches of Terrence Bud Crawford. We, that just remains to be seen. And we clearly see that Jeff Horn has a good set of whiskers on him, man. He could take a punch. Um, also, he can give a punch. He's very offensively minded. Uh, Terrence Bud Crawford would be smart to be on his A game. You know what I mean? He, would, he should not look past it. All the fight fans out there need to know that Jeff Horn is not a pushover, man. Jeff Horn gives anybody hell at welterweight, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Horn is a very, very good fighter. I like what I see from Jeff Horn. And turns Bud Crawford, but not go into this fight underestimating this guy for this to be his first fight at welterweight. And I'm just being honest here because with this kid, man, look like, you know, anything could be possible. That's all I'm saying. So while you fight fans are counting this fight for Terrence Crawford as a guaranteed victory, I say, look, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? This is the, the circumstances surrounding this fight. Terrence Bud Crawford's first fight at welterweight does not make this a shoe in for Terrence Bud Crawford. That's all I'm saying. And Jeff Horn is no slouch. People need to he need to start to give this man more respect, man, and, and realize that, yo, Jeff Horn is not a bad fighter. On top of that, he has a country behind him, which makes him extremely marketable. Hence, you see everyone, even in, as late as Amir Khan lately, trying to get a fight with Jeff Horn down at welterweight. Thurman would take that fight. Danny Garcia would love to have that fight. Clearly, Jeff Horn fights for top rank, or he's affiliated with top rank. So, you know, it, making the fights on the other side of the pond is just impossible. But if Jeff, if, if, if Jeff Horn... Let us just say he he beats Terrence Crawford, which means that at this point he will have victories over Crawford and Manny Pacquiao. Man, I'm gonna tell you like this, Bob Arum, you better get on your job, bro, and get the fights across the aisle made if Jeff Horn defeats Turnbull Crawford, because we're already sitting here wondering if Bob Arum is gonna make fights for Terrence Crawford once he if he becomes champion to uh, with the other side of the aisle, and if so, how soon? And you know, don't BS us on this, man, because Terrence Crawford don't have much to go at top rank at welterweight if he can't make fights with Al Heyman. So we'll see how it all plays out, man. But don't underestimate Jeff Horn, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot say that enough. This kid comes to fight. He comes to win. And he he's basically being underestimated by a lot of the boxing world. Real talk. So to the next video, don't forget to subscribe. Main Man Made Man. Uh, Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum. Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. Twitter, Made Man 511. Man, I'm going to tell y'all, man, yo, 
I, I just I, I get impressed with this kid, man. I I was impressed with him in the Pacquiao fight. I'm impressed with him in this fight. Sure, Gary Corcoran is not this, you know, great, great fighter, but he was a hungry fighter, a guy who studied him. And those are some of the most dangerous opponents to get in there with a guy that studies you and is hungry to beat you, to take your spot in your country. That is a hard opponent to beat, ladies and gentlemen. And I got to give heads off to Jeff Horn for his win. Real talk, because he dug deep. So to the next video, peace out.